Hello and welcome to Tom's Toolbox, which makes me Tom Clark, your host. Hey, today we're going to show you how to select the proper oil when it comes to lubrication for your applications. Did you know that the primary goal of lubrication is to keep two surfaces separated? Seriously. Now, each application may require oil of different viscosity, which is the resistance to flow or how thick or thin the oil is. Now, an oil is said to be more viscous if it's heavy, like uh, maple syrup. And it is said to be less viscous if it's light, like a hydraulic oil. Although I wouldn't recommend putting hydraulic oil on your pancakes. The other two factors that play a huge role in lubrication and have an impact on what type of oil you need are temperature and speed. Now, oil is going to spread out as it heats up and thicken when it gets colder. Low speed conditions make it difficult to completely separate moving parts, which can lead to boundary lubrication. You don't want that. Higher speed applications make it easier to form full separation, which is called full film lubrication, which is what you do want. Now, lucky for us, manufacturers will normally specify what grade of lubricant they want in their application, so we don't always have to decide for ourselves. All right, now I want you to take a look at this chart. Across the top, we have the most common oil viscosity classification systems that are in use today. For example, most OEMs will specify that they want an oil that is an ISO 220, such as the LubriPlate SynLube 220. Now, ISO, or the International Standards Organization, is how most new equipment manufacturers specify their lubricants. If there isn't a lot of information on the oil's name, you may have to check the product data sheet and look up the oil in question. The data sheet should provide information on the product viscosity or weight. So, back to the ISO 220. We're going to take it and find it on the chart. Now, you can interchange from any of these classification systems to the other just by drawing a straight, horizontal line directly across the chart. Now, the chart tells us that the LubriPlate SynLube 220 is also an AGMA5, and that is also an SAE90 weight gear oil. All right, let's try another one, but from a different starting point. Let's say you have an oil, and all you know is that the oil has 2,000 SUS at 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, we're going to look on the chart and can tell that it is an AGMA7 gear oil, and it's also an ISO 460 oil. See? It's that easy. But you've got to be really careful because you don't want to mix numbers up and assume that just because it has a number on it that it's in the same classification system. If you mix up classification systems, you could wind up using an oil that has less than half the viscosity that you need. Hey, a special thanks to the folks at LubriPlate for this edition of Tom's Toolbox. Now, I didn't have any PPE on today. I have my glasses sitting over here just in case. But you know what? You always want to make sure you wear the proper PPE for whatever the job calls for. If you have any questions on anything today regarding oils, you can always contact the nearest Motion Industries branch location, and they'll be sure to help you. Hey, be sure to check out other videos, too, on the new mihowto.com website with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Could be an MI How-To video, could be a Tom's Toolbox. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching.